How's it going, everyone? In today's video, we're going to be talking about location spoofing, why it's useful, and we're also going to talk about some of the best VPNs specifically for this. Now, if you're wondering what location spoofing is, well, it's basically connecting to a VPN server so that your location would appear as the VPN's location and not where you currently are. Not only that, but by connecting to a VPN server, you're also going to be using the IP address of that server and not your own. So you'll be a lot safer from cyber attacks that primarily target IP addresses. Okay, so that's what spoofing is. Let's talk about where it can be useful. First of all, the most common use for spoofing is for privacy and security. So lots of websites collect user data through cookies and trackers, and then they sell them to third party advertisers. So in order to hide what your IP address is and where you're from, you can simply change both of these by connecting to a VPN server. So for example, if we go to an IP finder right now, it'll display that I'm in France and have a French IP address because I'm connected to a VPN server over there. But if we change the server from France to Italy, using express here refresh the ip finder and it now shows that i'm in italy with a completely different ip address so that's one two if you're a fan of torrenting i highly recommend that you use a vpn to spoof both your location and ip because when doing peer-to-peer -peer activities your ip address and location are pretty much exposed to everyone for example if i open qubit torrent here if we look at the information of the file i'm currently downloading we can clearly see all of the ip addresses of everyone who's seeding this file to me and they can also see mine as well. So to protect yourself from some cyber attacks that could stem from IP fetching through torrenting, I recommend spoofing your location and IP using a VPN. All right, so the third reason why you might want to spoof your location is going to be accessing region exclusive content. This includes streaming services like Netflix, games and discounts on platforms like Steam, and generally any website that's like not available at your current location. So let's take Netflix, for example. Say there's a show on the UK Netflix library that's not available to you at the moment. All you really need to do here is use a VPN to connect to a UK server and this would allow you to surf Netflix as if you're actually in the UK. And that's basically the gist of it. And this applies to games and any other website that's not available to you. Besides that, when you connect to a VPN server, all your data will become encrypted, which means that neither your ISP or anyone else will be able to figure out what you're doing online. So this is especially important if you live in a censorship and surveillance heavy country where everything you say and do online would be put under scrutiny from oppressive governments. Not only that, but this could also be useful if you're your ISP is being annoying and throttling your connection whenever you stream or torrent or play video games because they don't want you doing any bandwidth heavy activities. Like for example, I've noticed that my ping goes through the roof whenever I boot up a game of League, but once it ends, everything returns back to normal. And so when I started using ExpressVPN while playing League, I noticed that this issue never happened again. And it was the fault of my internet service provider monitoring my online activity. So these are the main reasons why you might want to spoof your location using a VPN. And that being said, not all VPNs are suitable for this. There are a couple things a VPN should have to be considered a great spoofing option. First of all, you're going to want a VPN with a strict no logs policy so that none of your data or what you're doing online can be logged, stored or sold to third-party advertisers. It would be very ironic if the cybersecurity product you're using to protect your data ends up selling and misusing it because that's what it was supposed to protect. Not only that, but it's not enough for a VPN to claim it doesn't log user data. Like it has to prove it too. And this comes in the form of independent security audits by reputable third-party auditing firms. And then if you're trying to access regional exclusive content on platforms like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, maybe Steam, for games, you're going to want a VPN with obfuscated server technology to get around firewalls that these websites use to prevent any VPN traffic from getting in. And so what obfuscated servers do is they make your encrypted connection look like everyday internet traffic, allowing you to get around such firewalls without any issue. Now, to save you the trouble of looking around for VPNs that have such qualities, I do ongoing testing on a couple dozen VPNs, and it's ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark that come out on top as best overall. So all three of these VPNs have strict no-logs policies, and they operate on RAMLE servers, which means they can't log or share your data to any third parties because they themselves don't even have it. And to prove that they do uphold these policies, all three VPNs have gone through several audits by independent auditing 
lending firms like PricewaterhouseCoopers, Cure 53, and Deloitte, all of which have confirmed the legitimacy of these policies. But not only that, all three VPNs have obfuscated servers that can consistently access any regional content. And thanks to the fact that all three of them have access to over 100 countries each, you can basically access anything from anywhere. Each of these VPNs do bring something unique to the table in terms of features. So I'll just go over them quickly to help you figure out which one works best for you. And of course, if you just want to check them out yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. So starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best overall option and my personal favorite because it's super simple to use. It's got very high performance. It has all the core VPN features and it's also the most secure option on this list. Now, it's not to say that Nord and Surfshark are not secure. They definitely are. But on top of the independent audits, Express has also gone through real life situations. Uh, one of them being where one of their servers was seized by Turkish authorities as part of an ongoing investigation, but they found absolutely nothing on that server. So having real life proof of these policies as well as having the most audits out of any other VPN out there, ExpressVPN is definitely the most secure option you could go for. And then when it comes to performance, Express feels like it's built into your operating system and not just like some third party app because it launches incredibly fast and it also connects to servers in less than a second. You know, unlike VPNs, which would normally take like 10 to 20 seconds to boot up and like five seconds to connect to a VPN server. Express has also 3000 servers in 105 countries. So you can access whatever content you want from around the world. And during my tests, I've noticed that it's incredibly consistent when it comes to accessing Netflix specifically. And so if you're like a privacy conscious individual and you're looking for the overall best, most secure and easiest to use VPN, I say go for ExpressVPN. Then as far as NordVPN goes, this is probably going to be actually the fastest VPN on the market right now and the best option on this list if you're looking for like a lot of bonus features and more precise control over your settings. It has all the core VPN features on top of threat protection, which acts like a mini antivirus, dark web monitor, which keeps an eye out on the dark web for your personal information, and MeshNet for secure file transfer over Nord's encrypted network. And besides that, Nord also has a bunch of specialty servers that can be very useful in a lot of activities like the Onion over VPN servers. So those help secure your access to the dark web. Double VPN servers where you can connect to two VPN servers instead of just one for double the protection. <laughs> and obfuscated servers for those who live in countries with heavy network censorship and surveillance. And so if you're looking for the fastest VPN that offers a lot of value in terms of features and control over your settings, I recommend you go for Nord. And as far as service Surfshark goes, it's a great budget option among these three that it gets the job done at the best possible cost, but without sacrificing any of the security or core VPN features. Now, it might not be as fast as Norton Express, but it's still fast in its own right and even better than most other options out there. But what makes Surfshark really special is the fact that you can secure an unlimited number of devices with a single subscription, unlike Express with its eight device limit and Nord with its 10 device limit. So you can just share it around with as many friends and family members as you want and secure all your devices at at the same time. So if you're looking for the best budget option out there that still offers a premium quality experience, then Surfshark is a great option here. So these are the best VPNs to spoof your location, hide your online activity, and access any type of content that you want from all over the world. They're all fast and secure, and they all also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can just test drive them out for 30 days and claim a refund if you want. So that's all for today's video. As I said earlier, this is just a brief overview of each VPN. And if you'd like to check them out in detail, Detail. I'll leave full reviews on each of them in the description down below alongside some discounts if you're interested in getting any of them and want to save money off your subscription. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped you figure out how to spoof your location. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll be in touch. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.